Hey, what's up guys? Tomcat here, and today I'm bringing you another uh, Burnout Paradise gameplay. Almost said Borderlands 2, I don't know why. Burnout Paradise gameplay. Today we're using the bikes. Uh, you don't see many uh, Paradise Bikes videos on YouTube, and I thought it'd be a cool video to do on my channel since a lot of people really liked my last Burnout Paradise video. And this video is kind of a follow-up to that. Uh, the subject of the last Burnout Paradise video was video games, modern video games, losing the fun factor. And I want to bring a little bit of the same touch to this video, although we're going to talk about the next generation of consoles, because it's going to be coming up soon, guys. We're going to be seeing the Xbox 720, the PS4, and another very interesting console very soon. Now, first of all, I want to get out of the way that the other very interesting console uh, is known as the Steam Box. Now, if you don't, if you guys don't know what the Steam Box is, then basically it's Valve's new console. And if you didn't know that Valve was getting into the console market, well, there you go. Valve is getting into the console market. <laughs> they're they're basically bringing the Steam service uh, on PC and they're taking that service and they're packing it into an entire console and I'm not sure how exactly it's going to work because not many details have been released but it's going to be a very very interesting system because it's going to be a very interesting year for gaming in general because you've got the two giants uh, PlayStation and Xbox and then you've got this this new system joining the scene, but it's it's interesting that it's a new system, but not a new name whatsoever. It's a well-known name, so uh, it'll be interesting to see how Steam and Valve make this entry into the console market. Now, what I'm hoping to see in the in the Steam box is more of a focus on games rather than stuff like. TV and things like that. I mean, I remember when a game console was just a game console, and that's just what it was. It played games, and that's about it. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with uh, things like watching Netflix on a game console. Like, I, I use Netflix on my Xbox 360 all the time. I love Netflix. Netflix is awesome. But, and, and I think the, the new consoles should have things like Netflix. But I also don't think that the console should try too hard to be a, a TV provider, for example. I think they, I think some of the consoles right now are trying too hard to do so many different things when they could be focusing on just games. And I think if they just focused on games alone, uh, well not alone because... Like I said, you still have the things that you want, like Netflix and music and that kind of stuff. But they, if they put the majority of their focus into games, then I think the service would be better. I think the games would actually turn out better. And I think that it would be a more streamlined uh, interface altogether. I think it would be just... I think the games would run better. Uh, I just think it would make it would make a world of difference. It really, really would. I, in my opinion, make a world of difference if the consoles were were uh, mostly focused on the games themselves. Now, another interesting thing about this Steam box is the controller, which no one knows anything about as far as I know. If you guys know anything about a controller for the Steam Box, let me know in the comments below because I am absolutely clueless as to what kind of controller this thing's gonna have. And on a console, the controller is extremely important. Absolutely like extremely important. You could have the best console in the world, but if your controller sucks, then <clears> that it's just, you know, done. Out. <laughs> Not worth it. So the interesting thing, though, and this, this, I've had this thought in my mind that since it's a Steam box and since it's coming from Valve, a very experienced PC-focused company, what if the Steam box is compatible with a mouse and keyboard? Now that would be very, very interesting. If we had a console that was compatible with a mouse and keyboard, think about that for a second. 
the freedom of a mouse and keyboard with the convenience of a console. Now, nothing's confirmed, but I think that would be absolutely amazing. I think that would be the most awesome thing that Valve could do with the Steam Box. Now, don't get me wrong, I love my controller. I love using a controller with a console. I think that I think that there's uh, something about using a controller that makes console gaming special, but I would also like to have that mouse and keyboard option for other things. And even if I did have that mouse and keyboard option, I would still use my controller for certain things as well. And obviously, you know, you would want support for things like racing wheels and all that sort of stuff. Another thing that I wonder is, will it have motion control? You know, are they going to go that route of motion control? I'm hoping they don't focus a lot of energy on that, to be honest with you. I think it'd be better off without it. But, uh, I mean, it, it's... I don't know, I think... I think that they're... That this motion control deal is trying... People are trying to make games so beginner-friendly that they're almost taking a lot of the technicalities and fun... Uh, out of the hardcore side, so, and I've heard that the Xbox 720 is going to be even more Kinect focused uh, than the 360 is, so it's going to be based almost totally around the Kinect system, so I'm kind of iffy about that. So if you guys enjoyed this little video, then click that like button, tell me in the comments below what you thought of it, and if you're new to my channel, click subscribe for more videos. I will talk to you guys later.